young girls, they are very economically vulnerable because of the current economic conditions. Parents are finding it difficult to pay school fees for their children and it's usually the girl child who drops out of school. And so as a result, um, most of them are forced into early marriages or prostitution or other risky social behavior. We've also seen that because of the HIV AIDS pandemic, girls drop out of school to take care of the sick and some of the young girls are also, you know, the heads in child-headed homes. So the situation is quite um, sad for the girl child because they don't have economic opportunities and they are vulnerable to the harsh economic climate. We see that the challenges that we are facing as a, as a country, most of them can be solved by um, empowering the young girls out there. And there's a program for um, disadvantaged young girls called Fit for Life, which is running at Kushinga Pikelela um, Agricultural College, where they are given a second chance at education, um, basic literacy and numeracy, like I've mentioned. And then they also get, receive um, agricultural technical training. Talia has been involved with these young girls in providing the soft skills, the um, personal care, hygiene, um, grooming and etiquette, and also distributing sanitary towels because these girls don't even have sanitary towels to use when they are menstruating. And so we saw that there was a gap in the program that is being run because once they've been empowered with the technical skills, they still lack um, entrepreneurial skills, they still lack financial literacy, and they also lack in um, the access to capital for them to be able to set up entrepreneurial ventures. And so this is an opportunity which we seek to address through this program. So for the age groups we are looking at um, 14 to 25 years. Disadvantaged young girls who dropped out of school, like I mentioned, through lack of funds for school fees, through early pregnancies, or through caring for the sick, and then they are able to enroll for this program. We want to um, implement what we call um, essence of womanhood. Um, firstly, it's to create the self-awareness and self-esteem because of the hardships that they've gone through to give them the confidence to approach life. <laughs> So under the World Creation Initiative, we are empowering the girls with entrepreneurial skills. We are teaching them how to run fa their farming enterprises as a business and also to derive profits out of it, access to markets and market linkages. Then we also want to give them financial literacy because there are certain things that have been eroded from our economy, such as saving, investments. So the money that they are getting from their farming enterprises, they get to invest back into, into their farming business. And also microfinance um, through internal savings and lending plan and maybe a revolving fund so that they get access to the capital for them to start up their businesses.